The Shulchan Aruch at the beginning of Reish Yud says, "Aochel pachot mi kezayit, be mi pat, be mi sha'ar achalim, vashote pachot mi rviit, be mi yayin, be mi sha'ar mashkim, mevarech tchila bracha haruya lo tohamin, ulacharav eno mevarech kla." So that the Mishnah Bur, that Shulchan Aruch is very clear. If you eat less than a kezayit. If you drink yes than a revi'it, then you don't have to make an uh, after bracha at all. What happens if you eat a little bit of one food and a little bit of another food and they add up to a kezayit? What's the obligation? Of course, I have to make a bracha birkas hanenim before I eat, but I also have to say some sort of birkat hamazon when I finish <clears throat> so the Mishnah Brewer uh, expands on this topic and says, as a general, a general position, Kol All foods add up, can add up to a kezayit, meaning if I ate a little bit of one and a little bit of another, but altogether I ate a kezayit, then I'm in the kezayit world. And then I have to make the proper bracha achrona. Well, what is the proper bracha achrona? After all, I might have eaten a little of bread and a bit of a cookie. And so, what bracha achrona do I make? So the Mishnah Bura says, Im minim, mevarech me'en shalosh. If you ate things that are made out of the seven types of grains, like a, like a cookie, then you make an ala michya. Im shelo mishiva minim, if they're not from those seven uh, uh, things mentioned that are connected to Eretz Israel, then you say, Bahrain Nifashot. What happens if you have a Chatzi Zayat, half of a Zayat's worth of Shivat Aminim, of the seven types, and Chatzi Zayat Acher, Mivarech Achrehem Bahrain Nifashot? Let's look at a concrete, at a concrete example. If you ate a waffle, a waffle is a, a great, one of the great Israeli inventions. It's a kind of a cracker that's filled with chocolate. It could be lemon uh, tasting stuff, but I don't like that. I like the chocolate tasting stuff. So you have a waffle. The waffle is, is made out of something that is one of the seven species, the wheat and uh, the chocolate, I guess, is not. I don't remember that in the Pesach. So you have a chatzi zayit of shiva minim and a chatzi zayit of chocolate. <coughs> in such a case, the bracha that you make after you eat is barei nefashot. Barei nefashot is the most general and inclusive bracha. Similarly, if I eat a chatzi zayit of a piece of bread, and then another chatzi zayit of bore nefashot, like a chalva or something, then you also make the bracha bore nefashot. So that when you're in doubt, when there's a suffix, you've eaten a zayit, but you haven't eaten a zayit of one type of food. And some of the food you ate was al hamichya food, and some of the food you ate was bore nefashot food. So you always use the more inclusive bracha, in this case, barein nefashot. Again, if you eat a waffle, but you eat only a kezayit, the bracha that you make is barein nefashot and not al ha-michya. Of course, if you eat enough waffle that you get to the al ha level of the shiva minim, then of course you make the bracha chrona, Alhamdulillah.